Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this channel, I am going to discuss our metallurgy interview questions from BARC, DRDO, IOCL, NALCO, Vizag, Steel, etc. If you are preparing, uh, just to subscribe. Let's discuss one BARC interview question. In this question, we were asked to derive the clashes collected equation and explain the concept of ice skating using this equation. So let's get started guys. Let's derive our clashes collected equation. Friends, here we are going to use first law and second law of thermodynamics while deriving the clashes collaborative equation. Please remember this equation. And here dq is equal to we can write as dds. And Gibbs equation, guys, g is equal to h minus ds. And enthalpy we can write as a plus Bp. Friends, remember these four equations we are going to use. First, we are going to derive the Maxwell equation and from there, we are going to get our classes clear equation. Friends, now let's consider our Gibbs equation and let's substitute enthalpy in this equation. So, G becomes G is equals to U plus Pb minus Ds. Differentiating this equation, guys, dg is equals to du plus pdb plus bdb minus pds minus sdt. Guys, here we can consider du plus pd is dq and tds is dq. So this is dq and this is minus dq. So we can cancel this. So we get dz is equals to vdp minus sdt friends this is very important maxwell equation from this equation we are going to derive our clashes clapron equation friends let's consider a transformation rate if the solid is transforming to liquid at the transformation temperature friends we know delta g is equals to zero or the free energy of liquid is equals to the free energy of the solid let's write the free energy of the solid dg solid is equals to v solid dp minus s solid dt similarly dg liquid is equals to v liquid dp minus s liquid since we know the free energy of solid and liquid are equal, let's equate them. Now guys, when equating the free energies of solid and liquid, we get this equation. And we in the in thermodynamics, we always consider product minus, minus reactants. Here the transformation is solid to liquid. So the delta V is Vl minus Vs and delta S is Sl minus Ss. So, by rearranging these things guys, we get dt by dp is equals to delta v by delta s. Now this is our profound clashes clapron equation. Rate of change of transformation temperature with pressure is given by volume change divided by the entropy change. Friends, before discussing the ice skating uh, reason, let's discuss the special property of water. Friends, we all know the most of almost all the materials, volume of solid is always less than volume of liquid. But in the case of water, the volume of solid is greater than that of the volume of liquid because of the hydrogen bonding. Just like water, we also have cast iron, bismuth. Grey cast iron with carbon percentage more than 2% and bismuth and etc. These are the materials which expand on solidification. Guys, here we need to understand when water melts, its volume is decreasing. Friends, when we consider the transformation of solid to the liquid, ice to water, 
volume actually decreases right because here ice is having more volume than that other solid so the product minus reactant so volume of liquid minus volume of solid is negative because here solid is having more volume and the entropy of liquid is always greater than the solid so entropy of liquid minus entropy of solid is a positive value so here delta v is negative and delta s is positive Friends, let's apply these values to the Clash's Clapton equation. Delta V is negative and delta S is positive. So, this is negative and this is positive. So, this gives us rate of change of transformation value is negative. Which means if one increases, other one decreases. Right? Here, if we increase the pressure, what happens? If P increases, transformation temperature decreases because rate of change of transformation with pressure is negative. This is the main principle of our clashes clapron equation relation to the ice skating. Friends, let's discuss the skating part. The skating shoe consists of a metallic strip attached at its bottom, which is the only contact point between the scatter and the area. This is how the cross-section of the contact between the shoe and the ground looks like. Here, because of the body weight of the person, the pressure in this small area increases. And because it is ice, pressure of this small area is increasing. So, melting point in this particular area drops according to the pressure step on equation. So, this small layer of ice melts which decreases the friction and which makes it easier because there is no friction, the person can move more easily. So whenever the person is moving, the contact area gradually goes like this and this area, the small layer of ice melts and which facilitates the skating of the person. This is it for this video guys. Hope you understood the concept. If you have any questions, please post in the comment section. I would be more than happy to make a video on the topic which may help you understand any concepts. Thank you so much for watching.